messing up again. See who's showing that it's got a... Who was it? I think, I think Mike, you were asking me earlier. Um, same thing happened last week when I did a live feed. If you look at my thumbs down, is right even with the thumbs up. It's steadily moving. But I noticed that it was going up, and then it was going back down. Yeah, Mike, it's a glitch. It happened. It's been happening a lot. Yeah, Mike, it's a glitch. It happened. It's been happening a lot. Yeah, Mike, it's a glitch. It happened. It's been happening a lot. It's the same thing with, uh, whenever I fire up the live feed, put out notifications, nobody's getting them. YouTube right now, they actually sent me an email saying that that's a big problem. It's happening to everybody that does live feeds. Like the thumbs down. For every thumbs up that you give, you're also getting a thumbs down. It's, it's something with their algorithm that they're trying to fix. Their algorithm is all jacked up, jacked up, jacked up, jacked up. A lot of people's um, subscriber numbers are all messed up. They don't have the, the proper amount of... Uh, subscribers but yeah you probably weren't in here last week but we were all laughing because last week we were sitting here we were watching um the uh thumbs up they went um thumbs up numbers were going up and then all of a sudden in an instant they like shot down to like one i only had one thumbs down the whole video but it said i had like 60 at one time i was like there's no way because we were looking at there's 60 thumbs up and like 50, uh, there's there six, six, 60 thumbs down and 50 thumbs up. That would have been 110 viewers. And at that time, there had only been 85 consecutive viewers. There's no way you can have two numbers where they're in conjunction. Where that, that that's more people than what were viewing the viewing the friggin' uh, the live feed. It's, it's not even possible, but it happens. Up, I get a thumbs down. That's how I know it's glitching because it's staying, staying even. YouTube needs to get off their asses and fix these glitches. They need to fix that freaking algorithm stuff because that stuff is all damn. It's jacking up everything. Go kicking with the homies on the race day tomorrow morning. Word to up. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Well, there you have it, people. The nitro fraud is exposed again. Now, keep in mind, let me, let's back up a minute. You know, I, I'm not doing this because I have nothing better to do. All I'm doing is relaying the message. I told you guys, whoever this person is, this nitro freak, spelled with three K's, or three E's, I'm sorry, he must have a vendetta against uh, Mr. Fraud, or I don't know. He obviously um, pissed off the wrong person, because this guy... And it's funny, because I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, and, and I don't care what anybody says. I, like I said, don't shoot the messenger. I didn't make up that video. I, it was just uh, uploaded, and it's, it was sent to me, so... And I told you, as long as somebody keeps exposing his, his BS, I'm going to put it out there. You guys do whatever you want with it. You know, I'm not... Remember, I wasn't the one that drew first blood. Everything was cool. He was doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. And what started it all again is he had to make up some bullshit. And you guys know what I'm talking about. This video was what kicked it off again. And the only reason he did this video right here is because he was jealous because I was at DNC. And then he did this one. This, this is even really pathetic. Puts my name, you know. I, we know. I know his name. You know, maybe I might put it on the title of this video. Or if you guys are watching this video, you, you know, obviously you know what the title of this video is. Mr. Frank Higby. <laughs> like I said, it sounds like Higby. 
But anyway, all he had to do was not... He didn't need to do this. There was no reason for him at all. That was all a lie. That the other bullshit he said about me being on Live RC and saying what I said. Never said anything about... Me. All the things that he claimed that I said were all lies. Okay? And even his minions tried to jump in on it. And all he did is try to bully me. Because he was jealous because he wasn't there. I was. He's jealous because I got an interview, an actual in-person interview with all these people that he wished he would get an interview with. And they weren't even great interviews. And I never said that I was a, you know, any kind of a, a anchorman or, or, you know, a host or anything like that. They're conversations. Yes, I, I did over talk a lot, whatever. I was just really nervous. And I had, a, you know, it is what it is. But he just got jealous because I got an in-person interview with Rhonda and Adam Drake. And they also... May, they cleared the record about that engine that I bought from them. That Adam and um, that Rhonda said and Adam said that they weren't sure that either Adam ran it or Mayfield ran it. One of the two ran it. It was a used engine that they ran. So that engine that I have, once again, remind you, this Drake engine is... Not the original because it's a, I guess from what they told me, it's a keep off block and it just has an over OC head. So yes, it isn't a original Adam Drake engine, but it was used by Adam or Mayfield, definitely one of his practice engines, and it was signed by Adam and Rhonda. So regardless if that thing was a freaking dynamite or an SH or a piece of crap engine, just because... It has his name and his autograph and Rhonda's and him or Mayfield ran this thing, which he said on video. Go watch the video if you're confused about that. That's what I was stating. And Mr. Phony over here, just he just hates. And it's funny because his last two uh, uh, uploads, he'll make up some excuse, but they got a race. And, oh, I, I don't know. Did you guys notice that also... Uh, Mr. Phony, uh, he had like um, 300, almost 400 videos. Oops. But anyway, he uh, deleted all his videos. He deleted all of his videos except for, you know, 50 or something. So he deleted like 300 videos. Why? And if you guys don't think this, you guys are retarded that, that are whatever, his followers, or his minions, or whatever. And I know who all the guys that, that are on his feeds, all those people that believe his bullshit. Okay, so you just seen that he got exposed again. Again, I didn't do it. I'm not the one doing these videos. Somebody has a beef for him. I really don't care all that. I think it's funny. Because he talks all that shit, and all that yapping, and he's just so full of crap that it's it's it's... Actually, it's not even funny. It's kind of sad, you know. And he, like I said, he's just jealous because he didn't get any interviews and he didn't get to go to the PNB like I did. And that's the reason he did that video and made up all those lies. Because he was trying to hate. And now I understand what Woogie says. Or what Woogie said. Uh, Woogie Nitro said about how he has somewhat built up a clique. Like, if you're not a racer guy and you're a basher guy, oh, well, you're beneath. That's a bunch of... That's lame. I don't really care, but I mean, that's... It is what it is. So anyway, I just thought I'd just make a quick video. This isn't going to be no 35, 40 minute hour video. Probably a quick 20, 30 minute video. Quick update on a couple things that I've, that I've got done. Um, we're still working on the engine. I got the velocities, uh, the power stack mounted, auto wires, uh, the carburetor 1242. Um, it's all ready to I mean, go. I, gotta, I had to buy a clutch tool remover. FYI, if you're going to remove your clutches, it's $45, and that's funny because I was talking, shout out to my brother, shout out to the four guys again. These four guys again are have been with me for the last year as far as um, guiding me on this build. The main, main, main one is Elite RC because of those of you who know or don't know, he's the mad scientist. The other one is Chris, um, One Fifth Garage, and then um, Big Johnny. So I take a little, all those guys have been helping me. And then obviously Dan and Sean at OBR. I've been talking to them for the last year. But anyway, um, it was funny because 
one of the guys was saying how this says in here, if you see that, where it says um, overpowered. He's, one of the guys said on the on the Bartolone engines, it should say overpriced. <laughs> For the damn tool, which is, it's a bad, I mean, it's a badass piece of aluminum, but still. $45 for the damn clutch tool? Um, so, I ordered it, coming from DDM. I got the outerwear for the pull start, come in. Dome filter, we're running the, we're going to run the DDM one that Elite recommended this. We're going to try this one out first, and then we're going to throw the old, uh, um, power stack on, because when I get the dome filter, it's going to go on this, on this baby right here. So, we're going to do some experimenting. I'm going to see what this one does. I mean, if Elite swears by it, I trust him. He knows what he's talking about. He's one of the only ones that has this same exact engine, pretty much. I think I got a little bit more done than this one. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, that was funny, man. I, when I started watching that video, I mean, you know, and another thing too, not to add insult or injury, but, you know, these are problems of his own making. You know, this guy, all he had to do is keep his mouth shut. And not start hating and make up a bunch of lies and a bunch of BS and start calling me crackhead and all this stupid shit. You know what I mean? Childish stuff. And this all wouldn't have been going on. And whoever obviously got tired of it too and somebody that rubbed, that he rubbed wrong and they're the ones that's doing this video. Whoever that is. I think it's hilarious. And like I said, he tried to, the reason that he took down all his videos is because he didn't want to incriminate himself anymore with all the old lies that he's, he, all he's doing is contradicting himself the whole time. But anyway, you know, and then another thing <laughs> that's funny is that somebody that sponsors Knucklehead, Mr. Fraud, has the audacity to get on my channel and comment. I already raced it. I should have left it. But, um, you know, it starts talking a bunch of crap. And this is the same guy that you'll hear in his thread say, oh, we don't talk about people. We don't mention, you know, this and that. And always trying to act like he's, like he's the peacemaker. And then he turns around and, and starts bashing me on my video and talking a bunch of bullshit. And I don't see him making any videos or running anything but his mouth. You know, and you guys know who I'm talking about. He knows who I'm talking about, so I really don't care. It's funny that this guy actually sponsors or supports Mr. Nitro Fraud. That's even a bigger joke. That will do more damage to his name than he really even knows. Either he doesn't care or he's as stupid as he is. Okay? So, anyway, um, yeah, for those of you that are watching this and you know who they are, you who you are that are his followers or minions or whatever, I don't care. Give me thumbs down, please. Give me 80 thumbs down. That means I'm doing something right. And that's funny because Mr. Fraud, before he took down his last live feed, the second one he's taken down this week, he starts talking a bunch of yapping about, oh, people that are hated, people that are always, you know, uh, people that hate on uh, uh, certain people, those people that are the most hated, those people that, that get the most, you know, um, thumbs down, those, those people must be doing something. It's like, this guy doesn't even know. He's talking about me. Like I said, walking contradiction this guy is. The best thing he could do is stop doing live feeds, just do his, his videos every once in a while, and he's just... He's bad for the hobby, man. This guy is so full of crap. And the, and the funny thing is that a lot of, most of you people, I don't know how many of the 1,700 subscribers that he has, but I'm sure a good 100 at least um, believe his bullshit. That's so funny. And time and time again, after this person, whoever it is, keeps putting up these videos, I'm going to keep putting them on my channel, and I'm going to keep exposing this guy, and I'm not even the one exposing him. Don't blame me. Like I said, don't shoot the messenger. It's whoever's doing these videos. I think it's funny. So I'm just going to put it out on a, on a broader spectrum because probably a lot of people don't know that guy even exists. But they'll see it on my channel because all the haters will, will, especially when you see the title of this, it's probably what sucked you into even watching this. Everybody, that's what the way it is, man. And I'm not trying to start any drama. He drew first blood. He's the one that, it, you know, could have just kept his mouth shut and said he tries to defamate my character. He tries to... to, to um, you know, put put a, put out lies about me and just outright idiotic, stupid stuff. You know. So anyway, five B. Um, as soon as the clutch still comes, we're gonna put the clutch on. We're changing the clutch from the I think it's an eight thousand. We're going with a nine thousand on it. Um, you guys have seen the clutch. 
I gotta set the endpoints. Uh, I got a lot of work to do to this. And the only other thing we're really waiting to get this thing going is um, the pipe. So the oil on my pipe should be here within the next week or so. I'm crossing my fingers. I know it. it's taken a while. I think uh, one fifth, Chris. Um, again, shout out to him. Shout out to Big John. Shout out to Dan at OBR and Sean. Shout out to Elite RC. Um, all those guys, you know, supporting me through this whole five B Fisco. My first Fisco five B build. Um, oh, I forgot I even had this. Check this out. This highly recommend. I think it was like twelve bucks. So if you got to do the walk of shame, these thing. This thing is about thirty seven pounds right now. You don't have to carry it or try to drag it back. Hook that baby on there. There you go. There's my leash. <laughs> like I said, I think I got full forces. That's where I got them from. So anyway, that's about it. It's a quick 15, 20 minute video we got here. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that, share that with you guys. Because I know a lot of people won't see that guy's channel. Um, I don't even know who it is. Like I said, I have a, a few ideas of who it is. But I don't know exactly who it is. I just think it's pretty funny that... Um, that person just keeps exposing his bullshit. Um, the guy is just the father of lies. King of bullshit. <laughs> Nitro fraud. A.K.A. Mr. Frank Higby. What a piece of work. Okay, anyway. So, I think that's about it. The only time you'll ever hear about anything about Mr. Nitro fraud is when another this guy drops another video. It's been a while. I think Freak, Mr. Freak or Mr. Fraud, I should say, Nitro Fraud, probably thought by deleting all his videos that this guy wouldn't be able, or whoever wouldn't be able to, you know, pull up some more of his bullshit, more of his lies and stories that he tells. So, again, if you ain't, if you had over a thousand subscribers and you're not getting at least five or six hundred, and that's not that much for having that many subscribers, if you're not getting at least five or six hundred views, you suck huge monkey balls and you should take a look at what you're doing what your content is a lot of it's just a personality whether i entertain people or whatever i really don't care you know obviously people you know again like i said either there's tons and tons of muggy closet fans that think by not subscribing to me that they're hurting me i don't care let me set the record straight too because another person one of the people that i just talked about made a comment that i'm trying to make my i'm not trying to make a penny off this i earn an honest living I don't need to make anything off YouTube. My parents, again, have never supported, as far as financially, this hobby. All this in here, all this stuff, which isn't a lot, this is all mine. I bought this by working my balls off. So don't get that twisted. Nobody funds this but me. I don't need YouTube. Otherwise, I would have been Mr. Nice Guy and Mr. Lies and bullshit like a lot of people on YouTube and blow smoke up everybody's ass just so I can get a bunch of subscribers. I don't care. Unsubscribe if you want. Please do. If you're not a true diehard nitro gearhead freaking gas guy, unsubscribe. Do me a favor. I really don't care. So, um, like I said, I do this to share my passion of 8 scale nitro and now 5th scale gas and um, to just pass on what I was taught by others. I'm not an innovator by any means of anything and I didn't, you know, uh, discover any of this stuff. I just passed on what was taught to me. That's all. So, again, don't shoot the messenger. So, Mr. Potato Head, he's been behaving. He's actually been very good lately. So, um, again, we're going to get these whips around here going. I'm actually right now getting ready to wrench on the uh, MBX7. Got to replace the rear arm. And the, one of the pins in here that snapped off. Actually, you guys can see it right there. See the end of it? Yep, we're placing that, replacing that baby. So, anyway, as soon as I get that replaced, then we are moving on to the next project. And in between this two, I got, I'm trying to chew gum and walk. Um, the um, XTM, we got to put the center diff in that and figure out what engine I'm going to put in there. And this guy, man... If he doesn't come pick this thing up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this tea bag because this is a customer's, a friend of mine actually. I'm going to start this tea bag and show you the leak in the engine. And I, oh man, I swear, I might buy it from the guy, fire this thing up, and take on my video, take a sledgehammer and destroy this thing. That's how much I think about Traxxas. 
garbage. So, hey, but if Traxxas is your thing and it makes you happy and puts a smile on your face, hey, have at it. <laughs> to me, garbage. <laughs> Call it how I see it. Anyway, that's all I got. Hopefully, we get about at least 30 thumbs down on this video because a lot of people aren't going to like what they're what they're listening to. But hey, sometimes the truth hurts. Okay, and if the sh like I always say, if the shoe fits, wear that shit. Okay, man up. If it doesn't, which means if none of this that I'm saying applies to anybody or whoever, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay, this is just whoever it applies to. Obviously, the more thumbs down I get. And the more hate mail or whatever, that means I'm doing something right. And you heard Nitro Fraud himself. He just said it. The more hated, and I'm the most hated guy in 8-scale Nitro, I'm probably going to be the most hated guy in 5-scale, but I don't care. Who cares? To me, it's not a popularity contest. I've got enough friends in this and people that I know that I've got my back and won't stab me in the back. Okay? So I don't need to make any more friends, although, I, you know, that's just icing on the cake. Okay, so like I said, if you don't like what you see, scroll on, troll on, stroll on, keep on moving, unsubscribe, whatever. Thumbs down, I don't care less. Still a view, you know. Look at my videos. I mean, I get views, <laughs> and I and like a lot of people say, I don't got nothing going on in my on my channel. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, that's all I got. Um, Muggy's out. Um, like I said, we're rating on the pipe. I got the, the Bartolone tool coming, um, you know, and I have nothing against Bartolone. I don't hate Bartolone. I just think his stuff's, you know, overrated and overpriced, obviously. But, you know, Elite was the one that recommended that Bartolone tool. $45 for that damn. I can't believe that. $45 for a freaking clutch tool. But it's the only one out there that's the best thing to use. So, hey, you know, I got to trust the guys that are giving me the advice and that know more than I do. Um, I'm, I'm a newbie in fifth scale, so, anyway, but she is looking sexy as hell. Um, can't wait to get this thing fired up. Like I said, as soon as the pipe comes, outerwear, I got the Fonzie mounts coming. I got, uh, two more different pinions. I'm going to try a 23 and a 22, um, but I think I'm going to, from what Elite told me, stick with the 22. I mean, we've got a million weight in the middle 500 in the front 500 to the rear this thing should hook up like a tow truck so all right people oh one more little sexy spin of this badass one of a kind that thing just looks so bitching man i love this engine thing is sick all right people muggy's out catch you guys on the next video hopefully it'll be a running video Man, I can't wait to fire this thing up. All right, man. That's all I got. And remember, um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what anybody says. As long as you enjoy what you're doing and don't listen to other people, man. If I listened to what other people said or what other people thought, I would have quit this hobby a long time ago. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just don't take, you know, even Woogie will say, tell you, you know, and I agree with him. Don't take shit from people. I don't take shit from nobody. You know, just be careful what tree you piss on. Um, because that tree might fall on you. <laughs> Alright, people. Muggies out. See you when I see you.